Hello, how are you? So you still handle MTS files, right? I got an old camcorder, which does HD and pretty well, but it does create old file formats if uh, I use the wrong setting. So I have MTS files and when I import them into Premiere and I create a new sequence, there is no audio track, even though if I open this in VLC, clearly there's audio. You can hear that, right? So what are you to do? Well, what I do is I use uh, git bash and I have ffmpeg installed in my path and I just uh, use a command, uh, which is like uh, for all MTS files, loop over them and convert them with ffmpeg to wav, which is super effective. And I just wait for this to finish. And then I just drag the wav in and I put it in here, but I don't expect you to install ffmpeg and a bash command line. So let's delete this and pretend this never happened. Instead, you can simply use VLC. I do expect you to install VLC if you don't have it, because it is the best media player that exists. It's just a fact. So uh, when you do that, when you open this file in uh, VLC, you just go to media, and then there's this wonderful convert, save, or control R command, control R, and then you just drag the file in here, and then you go to convert, save, and here we have to pick audio, and you can pick MP3, but MP3 does screw with the audio a little. So I recommend you use CD, which is a short for WAV for some reason. You have to press browse. You cannot type in this uh, line for some reason. So click browse. It will pick the correct folder apparently. And then just copy this name and type in full stop WAV and press save and press start. And if you click on toggle playlist, you can see converting file. And I believe you now have to press the play button. Now I have uh, endless repeat on. This might be a problem. Let's try it anyways. Okay, so it converted. Aha, it actually does try to overwrite it again. So keep existing file. Ah, okay, problem. So let's press overwrite and then disable the looping. Overwrite and disable the looping thing. Okay, here we are. So here's the WAV file created by FFmpeg using VLC. Uh, so that's easier to do. And now you can drag it in and it's a perfect length match. And this is how you get the audio of an MTS file into Premiere. I hope this helped and I hope you have fun editing your videos. Until next time, ciao.